Good morning and welcome to Trading the Trend on Wednesday, the 28th of September. Two weeks ago, I showed you a daily chart of cable, that is the British pound against the US dollar, because it was trading down. And as you can see here, we had on the daily chart a series of lower highs and lower lows, which is the definition of a downtrend. Now, I said to go short on this chart uh, with a stop loss above the last reaction high, that is to say, a high on a daily candlestick, which is higher than the previous days and the following days, which was the case on the 13th of September at 117.38. So that was our stop loss. And a few of um, IG's clients came back to me and said, uh, well, hold on a second, we're forming a bottom here. We had a hammer formation, we had some bullish candles. Yes, we came back down again, but that could just be a retracement and then the market goes up again. That was a possibility. But when you trade the trend, it's like swimming with the tide. That's much easier than swimming against the tide. In this case, the tide is pointing down. And since then, what we've seen is the following. As you can see here, when I scroll forward to today, we've had a very sharp drop in the British pound against the US dollar following the announcement of the uh, UK's mini budget by the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Quasi Quarteng. And the British pound has um, dropped by 10% in the last two weeks since then. So you can see here that the trend is your friend, uh, hence the same. Now, I wouldn't personally now go short onto this trend uh, because basically we have hit our downside targets. I mentioned two weeks ago and we've made a nice profit. And because we are at all time lows with regards to the British pound against the US dollar, now is not the right time to jump onto this trend. What we want to see is perhaps some recovery before the trend may continue. So let's move away from the British pound and instead look at another downtrend, which is the daily DAX 40 chart. And as you can see here, we've been coming off consistently for nearly the last three weeks. But from a technical perspective, what is interesting is not just the trend. And as we can see here, clearly we have a series of lower highs and lower lows. Even if we go on to longer term timeframes, we still have lower highs and lower lows, which is the definition of a downtrend. But what we've also seen here is a fall through this year's lows from March and also June and July which was key support, which held since March of this year and has been broken through this time around. So in this case, what you can do is to go short the DAX with a stop loss above the last reaction high above this resistance area, which is to say 12,940, which is the 20th of September high. Right now to go short here might be a little bit um, difficult because you've had four consecutive days of lower lows. And quite often when you have something like that, there comes a time when the shorts get bought back by those people who made profits on those. So I would probably sell this into a minor bounce of two or three days, but the trend is still pointing down. So today's trading the trend is to go short the DAX, perhaps not right now because we've had four consecutive days of uh, lower lows, but maybe we can wait for a small bounce back towards the um, downtrend line or this major resistance here. So let's say the trade of the trend is to go short on a bounce on the DAX 40 to 12,300 with a stop loss above the last reaction high above this key resistance area at 12,940 and with a long-term downside target around the 11,500 mark, taking us back to October of 2020 and those lows.